Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been a while. I have been MIA, super busy with work and school, but today I have a very exciting video. I am making birria for the first time. And I actually have a competition with my husband, so we're doing a challenge to see whose birria recipe is better. He's doing his sous vide style. I'm cooking it the regular old fashioned way. I am using a recipe that I found here on YouTube from Claudia Regalado. She's actually the same person that I did the Maranitos recipe for, which is in my videos down below, so you can check that out. Let's get started. I'm excited. So I'm going to list the ingredients down below, um, just so I don't have to run through them all with you guys. Oh, first I should probably Step number one, wash your hands. All right, so. This recipe originally calls for, sorry, excuse my dogs, five pounds of chuck roast. But like I said, my husband and I are having a competition, so we did half. So I only have about two pounds here, but I'm still gonna keep the broth recipe amounts the same. This is what that looks like. We are going to start by cutting this up and putting it in water. So that's just what I'm doing down here. You're not missing anything fun. I am adding a whole onion seven garlic and then two of the bay leaves cover it with water so we are going to cook this for about two hours let it boil at the hour and a half mark we will skim the water take out the fat and then we can get started on the consomme part we've got our two pounds of beef two bay leaves seven garlic cloves and a whole onion So it's been about an hour and a half now, but basically what we're gonna do now is we're going to start cooking the sauce for the consomme, and then we'll shred the meat and do all of that fun stuff. So we are just going to take out our onion and our garlic and the bay leaves. So now at this point we're going to start cooking our chiles. So we have two pasillas here, I believe 10 guajillos and 12 New Mexico, and eight of these little chinidad ones. These will just depend on how spicy you like them. I think her recipe calls for like five. So normally you would de-seed and de-pot these, so just take off the stem and then take out the seeds. But I like it spicy, so I'm actually just going to leave them. And then we're gonna cover it with water and cook that for about 20 minutes. are cooking we're gonna toast our sesame seeds just keep an eye on it move it around get them toasted I say probably three to five minutes this is kind of the color that you want them to be not too dark gonna transfer those back into the bowl ignore my fan it's going crazy right now we can't turn it off but our chilies have been cooking for about 15 minutes or so our meat is just about done I have saved two cups of the beef broth because we're gonna mix that in with the salsa and then we'll add it all back together. Our chilies have cooled off so now we're just gonna transfer them over to our blender. Let's start making our sauce. Sorry about the fan, it's really loud and obnoxious. It won't let us turn it off until the stove top is no longer scorching hot. To that, we're going to add our seven garlic cloves, our two teaspoons of sesame seeds, garlic, cinnamon, going in, and then this is our spice blend. So I'm not gonna add salt right now just because I wanna wait until it's in the blender um, all together, just in case it doesn't need any more salt. Four bay leaves and then we got a fourth cup of vinegar and then our two cups of beef broth. I'm just gonna blend this until we have a smooth sauce and then we'll strain it into our meat. Mm. Oh my gosh. So now we are going to transfer this sauce that we just made into our strainer directly into the meat. all of our chili mixture in here and you'll notice it's kind of thick and that's kind of how you want it we're gonna take out our meat now because we're gonna shred it and then we're gonna let this mixture simmer for about 20 minutes
So now we're just gonna cut the onions and cilantro. I'm gonna show you guys a really nice trick that I learned about cutting onions. So you wanna cut it in half. And then we're going to cut off the ends. So now that you've got the onion like this, you want to create little lines across the whole onion, but make sure not to go all the way to the back. And then you're just gonna go down. And now everything is perfectly chopped. And now we're going to blend all of these together. You don't need to add any salt or anything. That's pretty much it guys. But you can see down here it's already thickened. The meat was transferred back in there after the 20 minutes of simmering, so it's got time to absorb all of those flavors. And then after this is done, we're just gonna finish cutting up our onions and cilantro, and then we can assemble our tacos. I forgot to mention, you'll wanna save like a fourth cup of the initial broth here, and then I mixed it with a little bit of oil. That's how we're gonna cook the tortillas and get them really flavorful. We're about to assemble the tacos. I just finished the onion and cilantro. I have a question. What do you guys call this? Because in Mexico, this is referred to as a comal. What do you guys call this? A skillet? A flat top? The comal's been heating already, so it's a little bit hot. Now, we're going to add the cheese. Next, we're going to add some of our meat right on top. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. And then, we can just fold it like that. All right guys, this is the final product. So we have the quesadillas and the consomme. To the consomme, I just added cilantro and onions on top. Oh my gosh, nobody judge me. Mm. Oh my God. I'm not just saying this because I made it. We have to try this. So we have a friend, Hunter, um, who loves all kinds of Mexican food, especially birria. So he's very excited to be coming over and testing both of our dishes. We're not gonna tell him which one is which, so we'll just have him do a blind taste test and he's gonna decide which recipe is better. Okay, so we've got our friends, Hunter and Joanna here. We just got back from the pool, guys. Yeah. Don't judge, we don't always look like this. I do. All right, so what do you have to say? Okay. All right, so I don't know who's this who's yet, but the first one I had was a little bit spicier and I liked it just a little bit more. The second one here was more quesadilla -y. had a lot more cheese, wasn't as spicy, so I'll pick that one just slightly below the first. What about you? So the consistency of this one reminds me of how my mom makes it, and it was also mild, like just mild, like there was no heat. Okay. So I like this one, because I feel like if I've had a couple of these, it's gonna get spicy. So I'm a fan of this one. He's a fan of this one. Okay, well the first one was mine. Was it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Second one was Joey. I knew I'd make mine for Joey. Thank you. Thank you so much. Friends, love you. <laughs> All right guys, well that's it. Thank you so much if you made it this far. I have had a blast making this. This is my first time making birria, and I would give it a 10 out of 10. What do you say? Yeah? Yeah, this recipe, for sure, 10 out of 10. For my first time, I'm impressed. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Stop. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> no, it's goat. Chivo is goat. I lost my train of thought. This is the reality of cooking. A lot of fucking dishes.